Dutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, Road Race. Early morning finds Clutch and Company at the Ocean Pier supervising the loading of their homemade special Grand Prix race car. It won't be long now, Spinner, and we'll be on our way to the little country of Forgonia. Golly! Our first foreign sports car road race. I can hardly wait. Wow! Wow! You tuck my Rubenschnitzel special V12 away safely, Fred Sneaky. You can count on me, Your Grace, yes siree. Who are those men, Clutch? The famous Count Rubenschnitzer and his mechanic, Fred Sneaky. He's won trophies all over the world, including the Rubenschnitzer Gold Cup. Gosh, he'll be tough competition. Come on, Spinner. Our racer is loaded. Let's get on board. And stay with the car every minute. There are strangers on board. Careful, I said. If you get one scratch on that, I'll sue the shipping company. Gosh, the Count doesn't seem very friendly, huh, Clutch? No, he's not, Spinner. But he's a very fine driver. By the way, we'd better keep a sharp eye on our own car. We wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Don't worry, Clutch. We'll watch her. Hey, Paddlefoot. Whoa! Whoa! I sure like the water, Clutch. Yes, it's great for a change. By the way, our old friend Colonel Twaddle is entered in the race with his inline flathead Twaddle 6. A car he built himself? You bet. A backyard special, just like our own. Here comes that man and his dog. Don't touch that dog, Cedric. It may be contaminated. Oh, it's all right, Paddlefoot, old boy. We know better. Did you see that homemade racer being loaded as we got on, Cedric? I thought it looked like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Several days and nights pass as the ship nears the little seaport of Forgonia. Cargo's car looks pretty good. He might have a real good chance of winning. Maybe we'd better... Shh, Paddlefoot, be quiet. Do you want to wake up the rest of the ship? <laughs> Well, it seems to be secure just fine. Let's go, boy. There's Forgonia. Gee, what a pretty place. There they are, my dear friends, the king and queen of Forgonia. Just wait until you see how glad the king is to see me. They can hardly wait to shake hands with me. When I win this race, I'll be a guest in the king's court. They didn't even say hello to me. Clutch boy, welcome to Fogonia. We haven't had the honor of seeing you since you saved my husband's life from those highway robbers. Oh, you must autograph your adventure logbook for me, Clutch. Thanks, Your Highness. This is indeed a surprise. Oh, uh, these are my young pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. Uh, uh, how do you do, Your Honors? <laughs> Clutch, you and your friends are invited to be guests at court. We're very much honored, Your Highness. Curses. I'll get even with that clutch cargo for this insult. Just wait until the race gets underway. What terrible things does the Count have in mind? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch and company were on their way to Forgonia for the international sports car race. Count Rubenstetzer is also entered. With him is his dog, Cedric, and his mechanic, Fred Sneaky. After arriving in Forgonia and being snubbed by the king and queen... I'll get even with that clutch cargo for this insult. Just wait until the race gets underway. The day of the Forgonia Grand Prix International Road Race arrives. Everyone is in a festive mood. The colorful crowd is filled with excitement in anticipation of the arrival of the king and queen of Borgonia. Drivers are taking their positions. 
This is sure exciting, Clutch. It's a big event, Spinner. And a very important one. Look, Clutch. Here comes Count Rubenschnitzer. In first place will be Count Rubenschnitzer. Second place, Clutch Cargo. Third place, Colonel Twaddle in his blue inline presence. And Frenchie McDougal in his powder blue number three. Why is the Count first? Because he is the champion, Spinner. Here's Colonel Twaddle. And golly, look at his car. Ladies and gentlemen, the parade is about to begin. The king and queen of Borgonia will lead the procession. Ladies and gentlemen, their royal highnesses, the king and queen of Borgonia. What's he doing? Be sure you've got everything ready. I wouldn't want to lose this race. Everything set, Count. He's probably getting last-minute instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, the King. Welcome, all my loyal subjects and friends, to this great racing event. Her Royal Highness, the Queen, has been named the official starter. He's the best driver win. Reggie McDougall are fighting for position. Leads by almost three miles. Here comes the horses. They are 
our catchy lap. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, Sneaky, let her go. This ought to stop him. Here's a clear level stretch, Clutch. We just step on the gas and make up for losses. Oh, no, a brick wall right across the road and no place to turn out. Hold on! Colonel Dwardle. Look, he both went right through. No wonder. This wall's made out of paper mache. It sure fooled me. I wonder who's behind all this. Uh oh, something apparently happened to Clutch Cargo in the back of the track. Guess that slowed them down, eh, Cedric? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But wait until they hit the next obstacle. <laughs> Oh, did 
Rod, your mail car boss, Grand 4 BX7, coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, the racers have now passed the halfway mark. Are now headed towards the finish line. Dutch Cargo is well out ahead and... Up ahead! Detour! Take a look at the map, Spinner. What kind of road are we on? and company traveling over a hundred miles an hour and the road out. Is this the end? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Road Race. You remember last time, Clutch and Company and the other racers came through the snowstorm without mishap. Farther along, the Count and his helper put a paper cow in the road to slow them down. And finally, a much dirtier trick, a detour sign. The road down! Oh, no! Cop, clutch, cargo. Okay, boss. I got a sneaky plan. The Royal Train has stopped at the highest peak to view the finish of the race. Good show, clutch. Give the things to win. Why, I do believe we just passed our engineer. Oh, my. The Royal Train is running away. Something is wrong. Clutch Cargo, who only a moment ago was a jewel winner, suddenly swerved from the track and is headed across the field. Sir, Clutch, come over here and drive right by the front of the train. Get ready. Look, it's Clutch Cargo and Spinner. They'll save us. Faster, Spinner. Keep us steady. Stay it. Got to stop this thing. Yes, but he might win yet. Look at him go. Sneaky. Cargo's coming up fast. Get ready with his cement cow. I'm standing by, boss. Just give the word. He's trying to keep us from passing. Cargo won't beat us now. Answer Call of Duty. It is my honor to award Clutch, Spinner, and Pedalfoot the Royal Heart. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Road Race. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.